What's up guys, welcome back to our Road to Dark Aether series. On our last episode, our top comment was from Aiden saying he wants us to use the PP SH. That's what we're gonna be using today. Also, he requested we use a 71 round drum mag and I agree, so I'm gonna go ahead and put that on. So we do have the 71 round drum on here. Uh, I also have the suppressor. I was using this because it has more armor damage, but I feel like towards later rounds, it really doesn't do too much, but I don't know if we're gonna be getting into later rounds. I guess I'll keep it, but if you plan on playing rounds past 30, I would not recommend that barrel. Uh, Ember sighting point. Uh, increase the salvage drop rate. Here's a grip so we can move around faster. And you already saw the magazine. Elastic wrap. And the Raider stock. And for our camo progress, everything is done except for our critical kills. And we need just 400 more. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And I think, should we use toxic growth still? I'll use it. It's new still. We'll break it in. Let's see. I think I have enough to upgrade another skill. We're close to maxing everything out. So we have 20 flawless crystals. I guess we can upgrade our attack rifles, our LMGs, our assault rifles is there anything else we can upgrade we can get our energy mine up but <laughs> i've probably used this one time perks everything is up emo mods everything's up except napalm blast and i think that's probably more important so the only thing we have left to upgrade is energy mine shotguns and snipers oh and launchers and then that's it and we have everything fully upgraded so we're getting there we're getting close all right but with all that being said we're gonna hop on die machine again uh, I really like how the Dark Aether looks, and I want to see more of it, so we're hopping on there. Oh, wait. And before this starts, I saw something funny with the Captain Price Operator, so I'm going to see if I can get it to work. Let me turn this to my favorite. That way we are Price, and now we'll hop on a die machine. Here we go. Captain Price has gotten to a helicopter. Has no idea where the hell he's about to be dropped off. He's got to be so shell-shocked. But I've been using I've been using the PP a little bit, uh, you know, to get all the camos and everything for it. It's been pretty fun. This thing once you get pack a punched i think it has like well over 150 bullets past like pack a punch tier three so it's kind of insane you know there's a lot of firepower in this i think the damage drops off pretty pretty harsh past like round 30 so it's not the greatest gun for late rounds but early rounds this thing eats now also speaking of rounds and pp i know that's a, a weird way to start something but uh the the first round of the nfl draft was yesterday at the time i'm recording this i don't know when this is gonna come out the lions went ahead and uh we we picked up a, a tackle from oregon uh, his name is Pen Penne Sewell, something like that. You know, he, he's offensive lineman, so it's not like the, the most attractive pick, but you know, it's something we needed. But the reason why I bring up, the reason why I bring up PP in rounds is the guy's name, like just on paper looking at it, it looks like it spells Peeny Swell. If I was the Lions GM, I don't think there's anyone else I would have taken if somebody's name looks like it says peeny swell so <laughs> i mean everyone's saying he's probably like the best like offensive line talent they've seen in the draft in a long time comparing him to guys like quentin nelson i know a lot of you guys don't really watch sports but quentin nelson is like he he's just a big animal of a man so i i, I hope this is a this is a heater this is a heater pick but you know you gotta, you gotta manage your expectations when you're living in michigan and are a sports fan i wonder what price is thinking right now I saw, you know, I saw a clip on Twitter. Uh, I don't want to spoil it if you guys haven't seen it. But once we get to a point, there's something funny you can do with this operator. But like, this is so out of the realm of what Captain Price is like used to. He's just out here fighting zombies. Like he's completely out of his element. We're at 41 crits out of 46 kills. That's not too bad. We're staying here probably till about round eight, and then we will be gone. Also, I think I'm going to start trying Dark Ops challenges, like in multiplayer and zombies, because I think we're pretty you know, well-versed in zombies now. We know our way around. <laughs> we still do make like at least one mistake per video, but that ends here. I'm not going to buy Jug right before grabbing, you know, the free Jug from an Easter egg. You know, those days are behind me. I'm not going to get downed from something stupid. This is going to be a flawless episode. Nothing bad will happen. Now, I don't remember what round dogs come on, so I don't want to buy ammo. I'm going to literally, I'm going to go until I have zero bullets, which probably won't be too long. But I don't want to buy ammo and then have a max ammo drop immediately because that seems to be what happens every single time. It's like this. They have it coded in the game. Like if player buys ammo, drop max ammo. All right, one bullet left. Let's... Get this guy low enough health. There we go. Now it's hands. All right, I guess I have to buy it. Now watch, if we get a max ammo within the next round here, I'm gonna be pissed. Are you fucking kidding me? Look at that. I, I told you, I told you. It is coded in this game. If player buys ammo, drop max ammo. This is ridiculous. 
They do that just to troll you, I swear. I can't believe that. I, you know, I, I, I'm saying it because it's happened multiple times. I didn't want to believe it's true. Right there is, is flat proof. That was probably less than 10 seconds after me buying ammo. This thing's cursed. I'm dumbfounded. Also, I just want to say, uh, I, I have a TikTok. I've had one for a while. I haven't really posted on it in like a long time. So I, I kind of forgot about it actually. Yesterday, I went and I posted a bunch of old like Warzone clips back from like season one of warzone so if you guys want to see that it's up there on the tiktok it's uh at jmoney 26 yt it's like the same as my instagram handle if you guys are on there so i i went ahead and i, I put some clips up i think they're pretty funny if you guys want to check them out they'll be up there all right let's get our loose change it's so weird you can't like when this map first came out you used to be able to lay down in all this like gunk and now you can't except for a very specific spot in front of quick revive so you can get loose change the one thing i will say i i don't like about the ppsh i think the iron sights are fine but it feels like i, I need to aim like higher like i need to aim with the bottom of the iron sight instead of the top of it like that that little like this little metal bar in the middle here i feel like i should be aiming right at the very top at that silver part but you have to aim like more towards the middle and bottom of it to get headshots all right we're out of ammo again so you, you know a, a max ammo is coming you gotta come into the facility here now what about this there it is officer weaver shut the fuck up i'm trying to show something funny dr gray you shut the fuck up too dr gray shut up all right now they, they talked over it but listen to this see he's so lost he doesn't know what anything is what does he say for this one why does he say it like that and he just grunts loud as hell like price is he's supposed to be even younger here but he's just the old man that showed up in the cold war and he's just grunting around and complaining that he doesn't know what anything is all right let's go through let's say see, see what he says if we go through here all right we will not buy ammo i'm not doing it we're gonna grab ammo from breaking these crystals and we'll get some from pack a punching so i'm not concerned again i'll i'll, I'll say it dark aether it's, it's the one thing bringing me back to here it just looks so good fuck off zombie we're not getting lucky this time with any perks maybe we'll get some over on the other side okay, let's run this way let's not take too much time i say as i miss punching one crystal eight times okay we gotta go i'm starting to get scared that this thing's gonna end we can always come back i i i'm i'm getting ptsd from when this when this thing messed up on me first a little loose change what does this say Okay, so he knows Speed Cola. He knows every other one. He'll say it fine. But when you show him Deadshot, he loses his mind. Get off me. Put the part on. And now we wait. Grab that. And now we are Pack-a-Punched. Here comes the puppies. Gone. 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 Is that all of them? That was easy. They didn't even get close to me. I guess we can go ahead and do the Easter egg. We don't have a whole lot of money for perks, but we can at least get one. And we're not buying Jug. I'm not doing it again. It was an accident. There we go. Whoa, wait a minute. Have you guys ever seen this? They do the coffin dance like in that meme. Let's go <laughs> go buy a perk and get some crystals. Maybe we'll get a perk from crystals. I swear if we get Jug from a, from a crystal, that's just going to be the ultimate like fuck you to me. They're all just dropping ammo. Okay, we don't have a whole lot of time. Let's get up here. We will get Quick Revive and Speed Cola and Loose Change. Let's go see if we can get some crystals before this ends. Oh, we got a little bit of salvage. Oh, we couldn't get our parts before before it sent us back through the wormy. What are we getting for our bonus weapon? Ooh, a Pellington. It's a Pellington, right? Or SKS. What is this? Yeah, it's a Pellington. I was right. But now we can go back to training down here. Set up our little traps. Which we put them in a very bad spot because they're not even going to walk through them. But this is so good for getting camos. Look, when they're stuck there, you just walk up and headshot them. It's like guaranteed headshots. I think we avoided that boss completely. He disappeared after we did the Easter egg. He'll be back though. I hear a zombie, but I don't know where he is. There he is. Come on, pal. I can't believe they gave us a legendary though. They are very generous this early. Put that back in there. This spot's so good. It's completely flat ground. He's gonna hold your crosshair in one spot. There we go. Already on to round 12. Time flies. I think we're gonna do the next round or two here. Then we're gonna go hop into the Dark Aether and see if we can get any perks from breaking crystals. We, we must've got really lucky last game we played on here. So I, th I think I got two perk drops from crystals, which is 
probably really good. All right, at round 14, we'll go. Let me get a ammo mod while we're here. I think I'm gonna go with cryo. Help us out with our headshots, slow them down a bit. Cryo plus these bushes is kind of crazy because this already slows them 50 and then cryo slows them even more. And also, if you do do the thing where you change class like this to change your field upgrade, change your field upgrade by changing your class, uh, these bushes will stay until they like get broken, I guess. So you can get some pretty cool like combinations going here. It might be OP to be switching between them. But look at this. We're pack-a-punched one. I, I can't believe I didn't even go over this when we first packed it. We're pack-a-punched one. This thing has a 178 bullets in the mag and then a thousand reserve. Like this thing just has a whole army's worth of ammo. We have enough to pack-a-punch again. So let's do that. Now, where is the anomaly? Oh, there's Big Daddy. You're lighting him up. Oh, he glows. Or, or he was glowing. He's having his glow up. Let's hit some of these crystals. Ooh, some essence. We take that. We're only getting ammo from these. Oh, we didn't get our loose change at Jug. We'll do that. Oh, an insta-kill. Okay, we got to get rid of these little gremlins. Well, let's, let's go ahead and just admire the jellyfish again. Look at this. Beautiful. Uh-oh, it's a dog round. I wish when you inspect it in this game, it turned the HUD off. Because it looks so nice. I just want to see it. We have enough to buy another perk, so we're going to do that. We'll get dead shot, and then we'll get stamina up next. Now, I wonder what the penthouse strat is with toxic growth. I think we'll try that out a little bit. So I'll put one here. Hold on. The plague hound coming. They won't stop coming, and they won't stop coming. There we go. We'll put that up there. Put one up here, and we'll put another here as well. And I think we're chilling. This has got to be one of the best field upgrades. So now when they spawn here, they're going to have to jump out and get killed. And then if they want to come straight down through here to me, they got to get slowed and almost killed there. If not killed here, and then they won't make it through here. Just racking up crits here. Uh oh, I, a Megaton's coming. Now this gun is definitely insane with Ring of Fire because of just how much ammo it has. It's like nonstop shooting. So we might switch to it once we get to round 20. I think I think that's what we'll do. So I guess we'll stay here. Oh, wait, the Wonder Fizz is here now. Let's go. We'll grab that. Let's go. I unlocked the MAC-10, even though we already have a Dark Matter. But if you guys didn't know already, you can unlock uh, any DLC weapon now uh, through zombies. So I'm pretty sure I just I just meet the requirements to unlock the MAC-10 there. So not bad. But right, here on the Wonderfish machine, uh, there's three open slots here. So I think they might be adding some more stuff. At least I hope so. This is going to be tough. I'm going to reload now. Oh, we got Gold Viper. I didn't even know we're that close. I lost track of time. All right, well... I have to fuck these guys up. Don't touch me. Get away. No. No. They got me. I killed one. No, he just came up and drilled me. I have to self-revive here. I lost my quick revive. Oh. <laughs> I said we will not go down to anything stupid. That wasn't stupid. They're just very strong. Oh, and there's Axe Fell ready right now. Perfect. Okay. Let's grab our perky workies. I think we might need a chopper gunner. Actually, we don't need a chopper gunner. We're strong like bull. There we go. All right, let's get out of here. I'm a prima monkey. Go get him. Easy. Let's prime another one. So they can just go ahead and take care of it themselves. There we go. Oh, we're racking them up. They didn't even spawn any elites for this one. One hostile left. Eat his ass. Let's go. Goodbye, friend. Let's get out of here. And there we go. We got the PPSH gold. We got the PP gold. Basically right around where we thought. But not bad for Captain Price's first outing here on Zombies. Another crystal. There's Golden Viper. Let's go check it out. All right, now this is what Golden Viper looks like on the PPSH. I, I'm losing hope on ever finding a gun where Gold Viper looks good on. Plague Diamond looks pretty nice. I don't understand how all the diamond camos always have amazing coverage. I guess that's pretty good too. D Dark, Dark Aether's really nice on this. I can't wait to get Dark Aether. We're getting close. Five out of nine. Hopefully ours glitches out and we get it early. We're, we're very close. We're one LMG away. So let's go ahead and check our weapons, actually. I know we're one LMG away, which is the RPD. We need basically every AR except for the Krieg. Every SMG except for the PPSH. Two TAC rifles because we already have the M16 done. So we can do any of these. For our diamond classes, I think that's it. I do want to get through all the melee weapons, though. That looks like a lot of fun. Same with, like, the ballistic knife. So make sure you leave a comment on what weapon you want to see me do next. And if you like this video, leave a like on it and you didn't dislike. Uh, if you're new here, subscribe. We're still on the road to 100K. And I think that's going to do it for me. I'll see you guys next time. Later.